tell you this is my this is my summer jam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was on the 408. I got here in 15 minutes because it's all on track. I know that's okay. So no matter what all the stuff you got going on, you still make time to take a day for yourself. Yes. So that's when ceasing the project is on hold, soul commotion is on hold, HR work is on hold. You, yeah, okay. <laughs> You take a vacation. Mm -hmm, I do. I think that's good advice too. That you know, um, there's a lot of like motivational speakers out there that really push that um, commentary of just hustle, hustle, hustle. Sleep is for the dead. You know, um, go hard all like 100 percent all the time. And I think that is a little misguided because you know you can't hustle if you're dead. Like you have to remember to take time off. You have to remember to eat, sleep. That's the biggest one for me. <laughs> I may not look like it, but um, that's the biggest one for me is remembering to like eat and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, that's the only one. I go through the whole day. Like I was just telling um, our, our beautiful producer, Shania, in the house, um, she offered me her sandwich because I forgot to eat today. And, oh, wow. and it don't look like it either on me. I'm a little <clears throat> thick in the right places. But, uh, <laughs> right. but yeah, remember to, remember to eat and eat well. Yeah. Um, what do you do to manage your stress? Do you have any... So honestly, um, it, honestly, I I keep a life coach therapist really? on on staff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Write yeah. that down too. <laughs> I hope you are listening. That nothing is wrong with a little therapy. No, they no. There's nothing wrong with therapy right. because what I find with therapy is that the person that I'm speaking with there's no judgment from them mm -hmm. they don't know me they don't know my past they don't know my history i mean over time you they get to know you know they get to know you but they don't come with any baggage right and so i can give them all my baggage right <laughs> you know and they're probably gonna take it to the trash can mm -hmm. you know they're gonna take it to the side of the road versus if you talk to family or yes. something like that they're gonna hold it yeah yeah and bring it up again uh -huh. later on. Uh -huh. yeah. and mm -hmm. hold it against you yep yeah, I, I am a full advocate for mental health uh, awareness and mental health care, and I am a complete advocate for getting a counselor or a therapist. Um, and I've certainly had to have, there are certain things I've worked through that I could not have worked through without a professional. So talking to my mom might help in the moment, talking to my best friend might help in the moment, but there are some things you have to bring to an expert. I mean. That's why they went to school, yeah. you know, and so um, I just love that you're sharing your story, too, because there is a stigma about, I mean, we go to a doctor for anything else. Why wouldn't we go for, for you know, dealing with anxiety or stress? Mm -hmm. so. Anxiety is, among black women, mm. we are so, we're in, in such denial about anxiety. Preach it now. Okay. And I will tell you that anxiety will take you out. Oh, yes. Okay, yep. if you're not careful. So, you know, and, and when you first start, if you realize that you're acting outside of character all the time, mm. then you're probably anxious. You're probably suffering from anxiety. Outside of character all the time. All the time. And you know, like, because that's what happened to me, Jennifer. I knew who I was, mm -hmm. and I knew, I felt like I was looking at somebody else. Mm -hmm act out looking at somebody else get an attitude with the cashier looking at somebody else you know destroy my relationship i thought it was i'm like who is that right <laughs> right and so finally when i had the full breakdown mm -hmm. okay my doctor even said she's like i was had seen you deteriorating for a while wow. i was just waiting on you so we're in such denial about anxiety and i'm not yeah. you know my partner will tell you i'll say i'm having a moment i'm having a moment i know i am i'm having a moment yeah you know yeah. but you're, accept that. you're self-aware enough to see that within yourself i think some of us don't have the ability to to see ourselves outside in the way you described um 
And that comes with having, like you said, mentors help you or having mm -hmm. the right people in your life to show you when you're out of character. Right. If you're not self-aware. You're you're fortunate you were at the moment fortunate enough to say, Wow, this is not CC. Something is something is not right. And having that self-awareness, thankfully you were able to at your break point realize, okay, I need some help, something is not right. And um I, for people that are listening, it's not that everybody is calling you the B word because you are one. It's, it might not be that. It might be that you're doing a lot and you're, like you said, you're, you're anxious, you're stressed out. And I love that you specifically said that about black women because don't we all the time try to be superwoman all the time? Yeah, we do. We, we do. do everything, we take care of everybody. We got five, four, six, 18 hustles. The interesting piece is that, and one of the things I tell, again, tell my mentees is the stigma that we have to be mm -hmm. superwoman. Yeah. That's what our grandmama and our aunties right. and them told us that we had to be everything. And if you're not everything, then you ain't a real woman. Yeah. If you can't do it all, you yeah. ain't a real woman. I'm here to tell you I'm 100% real and I know I can't do it all. And so I've let go of that, yeah. you know, thing that they say, oh, you have to be the mom, the wife, you have to work. I want to be equal, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Let go of that, I don't have to do it all. I have a gift for you. Oh. For you, look at Zoms. No, you didn't get me no doggone shirt. <laughs> so I'm verified, I'm a part of social promotion and Yes, have a couple more things, couple more items. Yeah, items. That thing say five or five thousand. You know what that means? Yes, I do. Whether there's five in the audience or five thousand, we finna go hard. Oh, all the time. Thank you, darling. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a part of the fan club. Yes. Thank you so much. And you know what? Um. Because we're the same person, <laughs> I too got you a gift. Well, come on, man, then, then. We both got each other black shirts. <laughs> oh, yay! Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to get you a v-neck, but they were sold out of v-necks. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm going to probably wear this tomorrow. You know, queens supporting queens all day, Absolutely. every day, okay? Thank you for my gift, by the way. I didn't get you enough. I don't want to get you enough.